We are a nation because we have decided to submit ourselves to the constitution and to the laws that govern our country. It is the way to be a nation. And I want to tell our friends, my elder brother, Mr. Raila Odinga, we cannot have two sets of laws in Kenya. It's not possible. We have one constitution, we have one set of laws established by the people of Kenya, laws passed by the representatives of the people of Kenya in parliament. You cannot tell us that you have another set of laws that you make in your mind and pass in your thoughts. And you want to tell us that you are above the law, that you do not recognize our constitution, that you do not recognize the laws of Kenya, that you are above the law, you have your own set of laws that you have made as an individual. Number two, you cannot tell us, while the rest of us abide by the constitution, respect the laws of Kenya, and faithfully submit to the authority of the constitution and the laws of Kenya. You, you want to tell us that you have your own set of laws that you enforce through ultimatums, demonstrations, that you enforce by force and blackmail using chaos and violence. It cannot be the case. Number three, you cannot tell us that while the rest of us submit to the authority of the Constitution, the institutions set up by the Constitution of Kenya, you want to tell us you have your own sets of laws where elections are decided by nameless, faceless ghosts in the name of whistleblowers, and that unless and until we submit to what the nameless and faceless ghosts have said, you are going to threaten us, you are going to blackmail us, you are going to organize demonstrations, you are going to cause violence, you are going to cause chaos. It cannot be the case, my friend. Number four, you cannot tell us that while the rest of us agree to submit all Kenyans, all the people of Kenya, submit to the constitution and the rule of law, you are telling us you are above the law, you have your own sets of laws, and that unless we submit to you and your sets of laws, you are going to threaten the country. You are going to organize demonstrations. You are going to organize chaos. You are going to plan violence so that the whole lot of us can submit to your authority on the basis of blackmail, on the basis of threats of violence. My friend, you are insulting the collective intelligence of the people of Kenya. And it is not right. Sasa, uyu mungwana ametuambia anatupangia maandamano. Na anatuambia ati itakuwa maandamano ya amani. Sasa mi nataka ni muulize. Bwana mkubwa. Wewe ulipanga mapinduzi ya serikali ya Kenya. Wa Kenya wengi wakapoteza maisha yao. Damu ikamwagika Kenya. Wewe umepanga kwa miaka 40 mambo ya maandamano. Fujo imetokea. Watu wamepoteza maisha. Watu wameharibiwa mali. Kumetokea fujo katika taifa letu kwa mambo yako ya maandamano. Leo unatuambia ati utapanga maandamano ya amani. Tunangojea hii maandamano ya amani tuone. 
kutoka kwa huyu jamaa ambaye hajawahi kupanga hata siku moja maandamano ya amani maandamano yote amepanga kwa miaka arobaini. ni afujo watu wanaharibiwa mali yao watu wanapoteza biashara zao damu inamwagika anatuambia ati amebadilika leo ati atapanga mambo ati maandamano ya amani mimi sina shida kama rais apange mambo ya maandamano ya amani lakini mimi nataka nimpatie ushauri aketi chini na polisi wakubaliane hiyo maandamano itakuwa ya amani kwa njia gani asije akaribu mali ya watu asije akaribu amani Kenya asije akamwaga damu tena vile amezoea kwa sababu we are shortly going to tell him enough is enough you cannot continue for 50 years to blackmail the nation to cause mayhem to sell fear to destroy property to cause loss of life for 50 years and you want us as a country to believe that you are not taking us for a ride and you are not taking us for granted and you are not insulting our collective intelligence as a nation kwa sababu kama sisi wote jameni tunakubali sheria tunaamini katiba tunaamini vitengo ile imetengenezwa na katiba lakini mtu mmoja anasema yeye haamini sheria haamini katiba ati yako na sheria yake yeye anatengeneza peke yake ile anataka ndio inakuwa sheria ya Kenya na tusipokubaliana na yeye ati mpaka ametuambia ati uchaguzi haiamuliwi na IBC ati uchaguzi inaamuliwa na sijui whistle blower hana jina hatujui sura yake sijui anafanya ako wapi ati huyo ndio huyo ghost anaitwa sijui whistle blower ndio ataamua uchaguzi wa Kenya na tukikosa kukubaliana na huyo ghost ati Raila atatuletea fujo ati atapiganisha wa Kenya jameni hii ni ungwana kweli ah tumwambie bwana Raila bwana please tupatie kaheshima kidogo hata sisi ni wa Kenya wewe si mkenya peke yako ama namna gani jameni yes